Good morning. It's Thursday, and it's time for our devotion together. Today we're looking at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 1 through 16. Jesus left that place and went beyond the Jordan and into the region of Judea. Crowds gathered around him again, and as usual, he taught them. Some Pharisees came, Pharisees came, trying to test him. They asked, Does the law allow a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to to write a divorce certificate and to divorce his wife. Jesus said to them, He wrote this commandment for you because of your unyielding hearts. At the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Because of this, a man should leave his father and mother and be joined together with his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Uh, Therefore, humans must not pull apart what God has put together. Inside the house, the disciples asked him again about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if a wife divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. People were bringing children to Jesus so that he would bless them, but the disciples scolded them. When Jesus saw this, he grew angry and said to them, Allow the children to come to me. Don't forbid them, because God's kingdom belongs to people like these children. I assure you that whoever doesn't welcome God's kingdom like a child will never enter it. Then he hugged the children and blessed them. Okay, see, I was getting the pitch. See the children here before us, fresh expressions of God's love. Each young life a precious promise sent from heaven's realms above. God, we ask you now to bless them as they learn and grow each day. Help us teach enduring lessons that will guide them on their way. Priceless gifts beyond all measure, all the children in our care. At this hour of dedication, God, please hear our humble prayer. Bless these parents on their journey through a vast uncharted land. Help them follow as you lead them with a gentle guiding hand. Now the church has come together with a promise we must share. To be faithful to the children you entrusted to our care. Let us see your love reflected in each small and precious face. Help us show them all the wonders of your endless love and grace.